What's up guys? Um, this is my first video. Um, I am going to be installing lighting trunks on DRL, DRL boards, demon eyes, and the halos. Never really done this before, so I'm kind of just figuring it out as I go, but I um, tried looking for videos online. There's really not much, fit, not a lot of videos on Mustangs, so I figured I'd just make a detailed video of um, how I do it as I go. Maybe it'll help someone. Alright, I'm going to start by um, taking off the bumper first. I'm going to move the car back a little, um, just so I can have more room to work. So now to take the headlights off, um, I need to take the entire bumper off and if you've worked on S550 before you know that's a pain. Um, there's a bunch of bolts like right up here and a bunch of bolts on the bottom and then um, what I've learned from last time is the bolt that's um, behind the wheel right there is um, I went ahead and grabbed a flex head ratchet. It helps a lot when taking those um, bolts that are on the back right there. I almost forgot before take, doing all that work and taking everything off. Um, I've seen a, um, a lot of cases online where like the um, DRL boards or halos might not work. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, like connect everything together and test it out with the battery first, just to see that, just to make sure everything works. I don't want to go through all that work and have it not be working. All right, so here's where I'm at. Um, the halo lights and the DRL boards. Um, connect together to the regulator right here which connects to the battery so what I'm gonna do is um, I am gonna I just cleaned off my battery terminals they had a lot of corrosion on them alright so that is that is the negative and that's the positive because you can tell it's the positive because it has a little fuse in here which is really cool so um, it only looks red here because of the because um, of the um, corrosion spray or whatever you call it Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put the negative on, and put the positive on. Alright guys, so I had to use both my hands, so I had to let, put the GoPro down um, to tie in the positive. So, here. So you can tell that my old demon eyes are on. But, um, what, you, what you're looking for here is you're looking for, like, making, making sure that nothing's dead, everything's working. So you don't want to, like, put it on and have one of them be broken, and have to return and do the work all over again. Alright. So for the DRL boards and the halos, everything seems to work. Now I'm gonna test out the new Demon Eyes. All right. So with the Demon Eyes, um, so here's the Demon Eyes. They both work. I made sure, but it was a little confusing at first because there was a lot of wires that I didn't know where they went. But this connects to the driver, which then connects to the um power source which connects to the battery. However, out of the driver comes up two, un two other wires that this wire has to be um, this this wire has to be grounded as well. So I grounded it where I grounded it and um, demonized so it turned off. But, um, and another uh, this you can have on this is a power, it needs a 12 volt power source. Um, I think what it does, it just turns off when you have your turn signals on or something like that. Um, but um, you can also connect that right here because that's where I had my that's where I had my um, demon eyes connected last. Is like a 12, um, 12 volt source right there.
pop off the stop right here. I already did. And right here. So all you have to do now is just lift it up and it'll come off. But you don't want to forget to hook all the fog light wire. Now for the headlights, I believe there is a bolt right here, a bolt right here, and I think that's all, and one more right there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take those off. Um. Alright, so after you get your headlight out the car, um, you want to preheat your oven to 240, 250. My oven's already preheated. Um, hold on, let me turn off this fan so you can hear me better. Alright, so... There's full bolts you want to take off before you put it in the oven. There's one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right there. Alright, I'll just do... Definitely don't lose your bolts or your screws. Alright, I'm going to put you guys on the side and I'll update you. All right, so after you take your um, after you take your bolts off, um, you want to put it in the oven for around 10 to 12 minutes, and then you want to start prying it off. Um, what I um, found that works best is that you want to pry it off from this side right here, and just start prying it from this angle, and just keep opening it up until around like the center. And after that, you should just be able to like open it. Um, I am gonna use a uh, screwdriver and a butter knife. Uh, I saw the butter knife kind of works a little better than a screwdriver because it doesn't leave as much damage on the plastic which either way even if you do as you're, when you're prying it like that you want to pry it up um, because it's plastic when you heat it later you can bend it back into place. out so it's plastic and when it's hot it bends. So after you pry it off you want to put it back in the oven and then after you pry all the tabs off you just go around the headlight there's one here, one here, one here, one there you get the idea and then just pry it off and then put it back in and that's after that is when you start taking it apart from right here. See, I aimed to try to do my best with uh, the sealant being left on the plastic. See, as if the plastic has been right here, but that's okay because I'll, I'll be bend it after I'll get to fix it. That's no problem. So I have the side open and up until you're open, it's just stuck somewhere here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in five more minutes, five to seven more minutes in the oven, and then just uh, pop it over.
Alright guys, so I got both headlights here, um, they cooled down, they're open already. <sighs> Alright, so let's start this. So, to start, since I have the DRL boards, I have the Halo, which is going to go right around there. And I also have the Demon Eyes, which is going to go somewhere inside there. So, I am going to start with the DRL boards. I'm also going to paint that as well, so I'm going to take that off first. Alright. Flip it. You want to watch out with your lens too because you don't want to scratch it. So like maybe do it on a soft surface like the carpet. But here there should be one, two, three, four, four screws to get that plastic housing off. Alright guys, so to paint the chrome pieces I am going to use Rust-Oleum High Gloss Black. As you can tell it's dark, it's dark out. So I'm going to start with one, just one tack coat. A tack coat is basically just a quick, quick coat just so everything can stick on it and I'm going to top it off with two um, regular coats. guys so this is after two coats it looks really really good I'm just gonna let it dry overnight before I install the halos This panel comes off like that, and then you want to take this right here off as well. It's going to be right here, right here, right here, right here. So get access to the wires. Well. You also want to remember that the um, the longer screws are for the black base and the shorter screws are for the white board base. Put this aside so I don't lose them. So now that you have that open, um, all right. So once you have um, all this screws taken off, you want to loosen these screws on the board, just so you can unplug that. You just need to do that because you gotta raise it a little. But, You don't need this board anymore because you have um, new, new boards. But since I don't really have any to put this on, I don't want to deal with it. I'm just gonna put it back. In. All right. So now this is back to where it should be. So all right. So this is um, the stock. The stock is right here. It needs to be shaved off because the um, boards are so. You're gonna use, wanna use something like that.
Alright, once you have everything shaped off, everything should just pop right out. So, this should just come off. There you go. And this should just come off. Alright, so that's old board, you don't need that. Alright, so now here's the tricky part. This is, um, from what I've seen, just for the lightning trans DRL boards. So the DRL boards come connected all in one. You're gonna have a problem right here in the middle section. Where, it's, where the wire is going to be in the way of it going right here. So what I ended up doing is I ended up shaving all of this off and just using epoxy to hold it in place. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So. So um, now that it's shaved down, it should lay down easy and smooth. So, what I am going to be using, um, you could use a few things, you could use hot glue gun, or you could use epoxy, I am going to use epoxy just because I think it's um, uh, a little uh, stronger than hot glue, however, I'm, I kind of do a little bit regret it, just because it takes a little bit to, uh, takes a little longer to dry, but um, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and lay everything down, I'm going to tape it up with masking tape, and then I'm going to put the glue just because it takes a while to tape, to dry up. Start mixing the epoxy, and we're gonna, uh, gonna use a Q-tip to put the epoxy right on these holes right here, just to kind of hold it down. Especially right on this one, the one where we don't really have anything holding it down because of the wire. I'm gonna make sure I put like a lot of epoxy here just to make sure this holds in place. So right here, that's already a pre-drilled hole. All you have to do is just tap through it, take the take this off whatever type of sealant thing they have on here and then you can run the run all the wires through it and then just you can seal it up with silicone or something after i'm gonna shave this centerpiece off though just so i can have more space screws right here and they're supposed to go right there but if you match them up they don't fit right but it's easy because they already show you like pre-drill circles right here you gotta drill in one of those just drill a, drill a hole through it so you can run the screw and what I ended up doing is I ended up flipping it so I took it off so I, I was gonna so I wanted to if I leave it how they have it like now end up ends up going like over the headlight and I want it to go inside the headlight so I ended up using taking the screw off right here and then just flipping first let's just drill a hole The circle is right here, but towards the end of it. This 
should just go in like that. And now you should just put your screws in and now and now <laughs> demonize inside of the actual headlight. Window and door, black sealant. Alright, so the headlight's ready to be sealed again. Um, I am going over it though with a heat gun to make sure everything is in is back in place. Um, what I'm what I'm doing is that I'm before I put the sealant on, I am putting on the cover and then just going around it, seeing where it's like still loose, and just going over with the heat gun again and just bending it back into place. So I'm gonna do that now, just make sure everything fits before I put the new sealant on. And another thing, um, this right here, I would recommend doing that last just seal the headlight first and do that last because silicone does take a while to dry up. I left it for three hours and it's still very soft so I'm going to do that last. I will seal up the headlight first and then I'll, I'll go ahead and seal up the hole for the wires. <laughs> and then when a heat gun through it for like five minutes all around and then just put your headlight in and it should seal. I'm gonna put a link in the description for this because it's really really good. <laughs>
Alright guys, this is day number three of the install. Um, I waited another full day just for the headlights to cure and dry. I don't really needed I didn't really need the car so um, I waited. I wasn't really in no rush. But all we have left to do is the wiring and just the installation of the headlights. So um, as you can see I already have the old demon eyes, so I kind of already have an idea of where I want to wire everything and where to run it through. So that's I'm just gonna follow that same pattern. Um, and I figured since I already have the old demon eyes connected and everything, and I think I'm I'm just probably gonna run them right here, right inside the side marker, side marker. Um, just to, I don't know, just kind of give it that extra extra look. Um, all right, so for the for the wiring, I know there's not much about this online, but it's very very simple. They so pretty much have everything here. On the really all you need. I mean, it kind of looks weird now, but it's really easy to figure out. Alright, so, um, the wiring. I already kind of plugged everything in to test it out the other day, um, but uh, I tested it out before sealing it just to make sure. Um, I don't know if I, I don't remember to be honest if I mentioned that, but you want to, you want to test it out before you seal because you don't want to have to go back and, um, Unseal everything and redo it if one one of, well, like if you broke a wire or you if you did something. All right, since we're doing uh, DRL boards, demon eyes, and halos, there's obviously gonna be a lot of wires for that. However, they have um, a really this is a great kit for the DRL boards and uh, um, halos because it all comes in one wire setup. So if you can see here, they have four plugs. And we're gonna have two going to the driver's side for the DRL boards and for the halos, and two going to the passenger side. And then for the demonized, it's a completely different wire. Um, but let me go ahead and finish with the DRL board. So um, the long wire coming out of here, the one that you see is, is like it's the furthest back and it's kind of sticking out to one direction. That's your Bluetooth connector, I believe, and that's what you'll be using with the app to connect. And then that goes back, it's directly connected, so you don't have to worry about connecting it, connecting to the regulator, I believe. And then which goes, has two wires that goes into the battery. So the one with the fuse box in it goes into the positive, and the one, the other one goes into the negative, obviously. All right, now for the demon, I so that's pretty much that's all it is you just have to use like 3M tape to connect that it should be a quick setup with the demon eyes it's a little bit more confusing but it's kind of the same thing all right so let's start with with that same thing the wire with the the wire with the fuse in it goes into the po net positive and the wire the, the black one goes to the negative and it's kind of with the demon eyes kind of also a little bit easier cuz it, it follows one wire but it's obviously red goes to red black goes to black that should be easy. So this connects into nothing. So you have to get the cable connected all the way down to the um, driver. Totally forgot the name. You have to connect it to the driver. So this goes all the way down and you have to connect it to the driver, which then has two wires sticking out of it. Just an extension. One goes to the driver's side. One goes into the um, passenger side. Okay. So now, if you go back, there will be two wires, two power wires coming out of the driver. One that goes back, the long one with the extension that goes back into the regulator, and then there was another one. So with this one, there is two wires. One, um, the black one, you have to the black one you'll have to um, ground, which I grounded at the same place I grounded my old demon eyes, so just right here I just bolted it off, made it loose, put the wire in and just bolted it back on. And then this yellow one, you can connect to a 12 volt source and I believe that is for the turn signal. I think it, um, I don't really know what it does, I don't know if it just turns off when the turn signal is on or it just starts blinking or something like that, but you can have that option, you can choose not to. Um, I haven't really decided if I want to do it or not, but if I do, I'm, I'm just going to backtrace it with the same wire I had for the old Alright, and the battery is off, so nothing should really get 
used out. Right, so that's the 12 volt source coming into that. Um, that fuse right there. That's what I. That's how I had my old demon eyes working. They're still really connected, so it still works. So if I am gonna do this, I'll probably just um, run it to that one as well. Just so I already know that that one. with um, double-sided 3M tape is if you press these tabs right here and hold the fuse box up and then lift up the little heat carpeting thing they have. I'm gonna just I'm gonna mount it right here. There's nowhere else that um, is long enough like that fits that would work. I'm just gonna clean all this up. I don't know how good you guys can see that but uh, just lift it up. I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna mount everything. I'm gonna put everything back together. Um, but I think that's where I'm going to be, like this area right here is where I'm going to be putting, um, mounting everything. So I'm about to put on the headlights, but just so you guys, um, just so I can show you guys where I run the wires. So I ended up mounting, mounting under here and right over here, and then I ran the long wires to the driver's side right there. And I am gonna zip tie it after I ins um, install the um, install the headlights, but I am gonna um, put it on this right here and all the way down and I ran it through that hole right there to the back and then this way I would just connect it from the back and after I put the headlights on um, after I put the headlights on I am gonna um, zip tie them all right. Alright guys, here is the final product. As you can tell, it came out great. Just download the app, it's called Magic LED. Just register your product and you're just disconnect to it. You can change it to whatever color you want. Um, this was not an easy process, I'm not gonna lie. But it's, it's really worth it. Um, Alright, so let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.